uh, Russia Winter 2018 doping. That was one you brought up. Yeah, dude, that's some crazy stuff. The ban follows a three-year IOC investigation that reaffirmed that has been long suspected. The Russian state has engaged in widespread doping of its athletes at major international sports competitions. In 2014, Winter Olympics in the Black Sea Resort of Versace, this included a clandestine operation to tamper with more than 100 urine samples at a laboratory that handled testing for performance-enhancing drugs. It resulted in more than two dozen athletes being retroactively struck from their standings. So that's pretty significant. I mean, two people uh, completely got stripped. And uh, now, what what defines this as in performance enhancing is what I'm in, I'm interested in. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I think it's just this article is based on the fact that they were proven to be doing something. Yeah, yeah the tampering is, is is a big deal for sure. That's like a bigger deal because they could yeah. have been doing anything. But um, I was watching a Joe Rogan with um, what the heck's his name, uh, Lance Armstrong, mm. and like he he totally went in and basically confessed about how he did the drugs, and he said everybody was doing it. So like all these athletes. A lot of them are trying to find that edge, you know, against the other countries, and it just kind of like makes you wonder, like, what little, like, little differences they're like. like they're, I'm sure over time, the um, the Olympic, um, you know, the people that do the drug screening and stuff like that. I'm sure they, they're, they're finding little things more and more mm-hmm. that people are using. Instead, they're fi- they're cutting off little bits here and there, but you know, uh, I'm sure there's still plenty of things out there that people are taking that are under the radar. For sure. That enhance. Yeah. And uh, so. You got to find that, like, too, like, it's kind of almost a weird standard if there's so many athletes competing under something and some aren't, if that don't have access to it. Like, bigger countries, like, for example, like, you know, big countries and small countries. So, like, there's got to be a lot of middle road countries that can't do it just because it's like a, but, like, USA, like, I'm sure they have, you know, a little, like, I, you know, there's, there's been stuff in history that's gone on, but I'm kind of blabbering on now. But I was thinking more particularly small countries. I mean, they might just not give a fuck and just... Mm-hmm. you know have their athletes just jacked up and just cross their <laughs> fingers when they get there yeah, yeah that's true how, how the hell else are they going to compete <laughs> yeah might as well get banned for two years and give it a shot that's what I, i'd <laughs> say go get zimbabwe and just freaking <laughs> go start farming them on steroids and get them good at some sports and you yeah know. it's the shot in that in that respect honestly yeah. <laughs> you could build an olympic program off steroids and then wean people off the steroids and still have like a spectacular program you might just not be banned you might be banned from the because if you went to the pre-trials, I don't know, the screening might be different for if you go to trials. So, like, if you make it into the Olympics and get into trials, a whole different thing. There's so It's like, it's it's not exactly this, but it'd be like going to American Idol and being in the first round, but then getting narrowed down from the first round to getting narrowed down to the final, you know, yeah. 60 or something like that. Like, there would be, like, you're one out of 10 still. Mm-hmm. But Makes sense. So, there's probably tons of people that just go out and give it a shot and jack themselves up. <laughs> yeah, see yeah. what flies. <laughs> yeah, like if you're a D1 like college athlete, I mean, like, uh, I'm not saying, no, I, I know he would never do this, but, you know, like we went to school with uh, uh, Colin McCory. I mean, he, he was a hell of a swimmer in high school, and then he went, and, uh, I think he went to South Dakota, South Dakota State, and swam. And it sounds like he did real well there. I think he broke a record or two. And, uh, and he went he went and competed in the trials. Like, the, the I think he got to swim in a couple heats away from Michael Phelps. Wow. Two. <laughs> so that's like, you know, that's pretty cool, but, like, Someone in Colin's situation, maybe not even as good as Colin, might just decide the only way that they have the opportunity to get to that level would be to take drugs, and that's completely understandable to an extent. I mean, mm-hmm. considering that we're not even close to that. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. I can certainly understand that point of view. Of, uh... But Lance Armstrong really put that that point of view across. Like He was like, yeah, it's just so crazy because it's like they were encouraging it. Like they, like our whole team was doing it. And like, we kind of just did it because otherwise, like he said, what, like he wasn't doing it. And he was like in like the 30th place and stuff. And he's like, what the hell is going on here? He's like, uh, and then like he would, he would do it. And then he was just like winning races, like outright. <laughs> so it's like, he, even at his best without steroids, he was still like not a contender against all those people that were taking him. Mm-hmm. It's like, a, I think they ended up giving one, uh, uh, won a, Tour de France to 16th place or something like that because they found so many drugs in the top 15 places because they screened them after and I believe 16th place ended up winning the Tour de France one year <laughs> um, officially it was like years later it was like after uh, after uh, Lance Armstrong uh, got was stripped of his shit 